In his diary of King Philip's War, Benjamin Church describes the wampum belt that belonged to Medicom. Opening his pack, he pulled out Philip's belt, curiously wrought with wampum, being nine inches broad, wrought with black and white wampum in various figures and flowers and pictures of many birds and beasts. These were Philip's royalties, which he was wont to adorn himself with when he sat in state. partnership with the Wampanoag has been extraordinary in so many ways and has revealed so much of the past and the present to us and I suppose the real treat is the fact that we've been able to work with them on the Wampum Belt project which has seen the creation of a brand new wampum belt, the like of which hasn't been seen for quite possibly hundreds <laughs> of years. So it's an extraordinary privilege for us to have been part of that project and then to be able to tour it. But I've been so pleased, Catherine, that you've been <laughs> alongside us and helping with placing wampum in an academic context and a historic context. For you, what do you think we should know about it? I think the important thing to remember about wampum is that, in, I guess in the popular imagination, it's become to be a byword for money, when actually from an indigenous perspective, it's entirely different. Um, it's used for ceremonial purposes um, in part. So these wampum belts would be a feature of their diplomatic practices, their ceremonial practices. And so it has a really important place in their, their own cultural heritage and, and traditions. So the War of 1675 is incredibly important. It's a real watershed moment um, between the, 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 the settlers, the colonial settlers in New England um, and the indigenous people. But it's a really significant war. Um, it's called King Philip's War. The, the English colonisers call Metacom um, King Philip. Um, and it's a real watershed moment um, in colonial history in the 17th century. And any sort of productive or positive relationships that we, we see emerge in the, in the earlier part of the 17th century really are, are decimated after this war. It is a real watershed moment in colonial and indigenous um, relationships. Um, and this belt becomes part of this war story. So uh, Metacom's belt is after Metacom is captured, um, it is taken. Metacom is, is killed, obviously, as, as part of this, this process of war, and he becomes a kind of this becomes a trophy, you know, of, of the colonial war. Uh, but the belt finds its way back to England, and then it disappears, and we've never really found out what has happened to this belt. So part of the the exhibition about this new wampum belt is to help us understand that part of the history too. Think about the past. Think about those those traditions of the past. The the the, the fact of that, you know from Belt is to help us understand that part of the history. Now I'm often asked why you know these historic traditions are so important and why we still carry on these thing, these traditions and cultures. And, and it's just um, it's part of what makes us who we are. And I think that it's important for, for people to know that, that we are still here, yet, and, and we live in a contemporary way, but that we still treasure these parts of our, our tradition. I think when we have the exhibition, which includes the new belt, traveling around the country to four venues in Southampton, in Lincoln, in London, and then finally here in Plymouth, there's a chance a chance, perhaps, 
certainly of connecting the past and the present, Absolutely. but possibly of finding the past as well. Thank you.